Number 15, 1959 Lincoln Sand was triple punched mint mark. It is a collectible error coin that gained attention among numismatists due to unique appearance of mint mark. In the context of coin minting, the mint mark is a smaller letter or symbol on the coin that indicates the mint where the coin was produced. In the case of 1959, the Lincoln Sands, the D mint mark signifies that the coin was minted in Denver, Colorado. The triple punch mint mark variety of the 1959 D Lincoln Sands refers to the instance where the mint mark was punched into the coin die three times slightly, misaligned with each punch. This resulted in a mint mark that appeared to have overlapping or tripled elements. This MS66 graded error penny ended up selling for $1103.12 with buyer's fee. Number 14, 1934 Washington Quarter with light motto, graded in MS67 condition by PCGS. This silver tint gem offers full mint luster and pleasing appearance. In addition to considerable softness to the words in the motto in God we trust, this variety is identifiable by a sharp center point to the letter W in V that does not rise as high as left and right strokes. The light motto is scarces of three over sub varieties of 1934 quarter. It was sold for $1920. Number 13, here is 2018D Shield Scent in MS69 condition. From a first strike, this gem lacks just one point from reaching Numismatic Summit. MS70 is the highest grade available in Numismatics. This shield penny displays immaculate preservation and striking level. No mentionable contact marks or blemishes are present on either side. It was sold for $2418.75 with buyer's fee. Number 12, here is Vivid Leton 1960 Washington Quarter in MS67 Plus condition. According to NGC, despite a very generous mintage, the 1960D Quarter is rare above MS66. The vast majority of mint state coins are heavily bagmarked, this term referring to the trading of BU bags that was all rage in early 1960s. Such coin dealings were all about quantity over quality, and the coins took a beating with each exchange. Though a large number of dies was required to produce this issue, just a couple of minor repunched mint mark varieties are known. This rare quarter ended up selling for $2313 with buyer's fee. Number 11 here is Philadelphia example of 1960 Washington quarter in MS67 plus condition. As you can see no mint mark is present rich peripheral toning in reddish copper and steely gold yields to virtual brilliance in the centers continuing a trend that begins with 1959 dated issues the 1960 is surprisingly scarce in superb gem relative to a high mintage of 29 million hundred and sixty four thousand circulation strikes this quarter was sold for five thousand and forty dollars Number 10, this is 1937 Lincoln Sent in PR 67 red condition. This exceptional superb gem proof is alive with fiery orange red color on deeply mirrored surfaces. The eye appeal is nothing shy of magnificent and surfaces reveal no blemishes or marks. One of just 9,320 proofs of the date struck in second year of proof coinage after a hiatus in such productions that occurred from 1970 to 1935. This penny was sold for $6,600. Number 9. This is broad struck 1973S silver clad Ike dollar. Dramatic major mint error for this key date issue. A simply outstanding example with much to recommend it in the mint error enthusiast or advanced Eisenhower dollar collector. The broad struck feature is dramatic as it is. Instantly recognizable due to the unusually large diameter of the planchet. What the shape is essentially round, curious borders of blank planchet from 5 to 11 o'clock on obverse and 6 to 1 o'clock on the reverse, confirms that this coin was struck in the absence of color. According to Stax Bowers, all design elements are not only present but they are sharply struck with razor sharp detail to even 
the most intricate features. It was sold for $7,200. Number 8, 1965 Washington Quarter struck on a silver quarter planchet, graded as EF45 by PCGS. EF stands for extremely fine in coin grading scale. Always popular as transitional year, a leftover silver planchet from the 1964 apparently was struck in a supposedly empty tote bin, then jarred loose in 1965 and struck. Moderate circulation is evident over the high point and there are no detracting marks. A rare and very desirable off-metal error coin that was sold for $7,500. Number 7. This is 1944p Jefferson Nickel struck on a steel sand planchet, an originally preserved example. Both sides exhibit ruddy pewter and olive grey patinas at slightest at the high points where the trace of wear has resulted in EF40 designation from PCGS. The strike is flush to the right border on the both sides. The left peripheral device is mostly of the planchet, but the date area full and the P-mint mark also sharp in the upper reverse field. Those design elements that are fully present are suitably bold for assigned grade and surfaces are generally smooth and pleasing in appearance. This error coin was sold for $9,600. Number 6. Here is rarely seen 1955 D quarter in MS67 condition. This exquisite superb gem exhibits sweeping crescents of vivid multicolored toning around the peripheries that yield to off-center swirls of pinkish silver tinting in and around centers. Sharply struck, expertly preserved, with only 3,182,400 coins struck, the 1955 D has the lowest mintage of any circulation strike Washington quarter from 1941 through the end of the classic 90% silver series in 1964. It was sold for $13,200. Here is an error 1944 still sent. PCGS assigned genuine VF details for this environmentally damaged penny. Most collectors and many non-collectors are very familiar with the famous 1943 bronze cent errors struck on the leftover blanks from previous year's coinage. The less famous but equally important 1944 steel cent errors occurred in the same way, struck on the leftover steel blanks from 1943 coinage. The 1944 steel cents, like their 1943 counterparts, are known from all three operating mints during World War II, with total estimated population of less than 40 coins from all three mints. This error coin was sold for $13,200. Number 4, this is 1953 S. Jefferson Nickel in MS65 plus condition with full steps. According to NGC, San Francisco Mint discontinued its former pack dies of repolishing worn dies to remove heavy erosion lines. These are freely seen on many 1953 S. Nickels, though these same coins may have bright and superficially pleasing luster. Perhaps this accounts for a fair number of certified gems, but these coins are unlikely to satisfy the sophisticated collector who values the sharpness of strike and early die state. This scarce gem was sold for $13,112.86 with buyer's fee. Number 3, this is 1926S. Lincoln sent in a 64 red condition, where rare CC approval in a full red mean state example of these well known rarity among 1920s cents. The obverse exhibits warm golden orange color that gives way to more of a pinkish rose hue on the reverse. Both sides are frosty in finish with bold strike and pleasingly smooth appearance. The 1926S is a low mintage affair by standards of Lincoln Sense series with just 4,550,000 pieces produced. It has long been regarded as a semi to full key date issue in all grades and most collectors have had to settle for a worn example either due to availability or cost. This penny was sold for $15,600. Number 2, 1976 S Silver Kennedy of Dollar in MS69 condition. The 1976 S Silver Kennedy of Dollar was minted as a part of United States Bicentennial Celebration. 
commemorating the 200th anniversary of the country's founding. These coins were produced in a copper nickel clad and 40% silver compositions. They are extremely scarce in MS69 condition. This bicentennial specimen was sold for $16,312.50. Number 1. This is 1935 Lincoln Sand in MS68 plus red condition. In the case of 1935 Lincoln Sand, while it's not considered a rare date, finding one in MS68 plus condition is still quite remarkable. Most circulated 1935 Lincoln Sands are not particularly valuable, but coins in exceptional condition can command a premium among collectors who appreciate coins with pristine surfaces and sharp details. For example, this attractively toned, crisply struck and CEC approved gem ended up selling for $55,125 with buyer's fee. Thanks for watching this video. Keep following us on YouTube for more captivating rare coin videos. And do not forget to hit thumbs up and subscribe buttons before you move on with another video. Take care.